Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today we're going to look at how Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus performs on the PC with the GTX 1080 Ti, an i7-6700K processor, and 16GB of RAM. We're going to be running these tests with the absolute highest graphical settings available at a 1440p resolution. Wolfenstein 2 runs incredibly well, but compatibility issues with third-party software like Afterburner, Fraps, and even Nvidia Shadowplay made this video a difficult benchmark to create. I ended up using OBS to record this footage, and it took a while to tweak the settings to get the footage to come out correctly, but I think it's close to what NVIDIA Shadowplay usually outputs. In addition to a lack of third-party support, the game also has some really buggy menus. As soon as I booted up the game, I hopped into the graphical menus and was immediately met with an obnoxious bug that causes the game to crash whenever you change the game's resolution from the defaulted 1080p to anything else. I eventually got around this bug by setting the default graphical profile to the highest option, which is called Mein Lieben by the way, and then for whatever reason it let me save the highest resolution. Some users are even reporting blue screen crashes, so it might be wise to wait on this game until Nvidia releases a game ready driver for it, or Machine Games gets up and fixes the problem with a patch. If you're lucky enough to get through that mess to the actual game, it actually runs insanely well. The frame rate averages in the hundreds and is crazy smooth. I never once noticed any stuttering, hitching, or large frame rate drops, though it is disappointing having the cutscenes drop down to a video file that plays at a lower res and 30 frames per second. Graphical quality is about what I expected from Wolfenstein 2. It's very similar to the last game, with very washed out textures and an overall outdated presentation. But what really stands out here is the smooth performance, and all the special effects like sparks and explosions during firefights makes for a really beautiful presentation. Overall, the game is optimized very well, but the menus need some serious work as there's some major bugs that can keep many users from ever getting to play. I'll be posting a full playthrough of this game along with a first impressions video and a full review, so stay tuned to my channel. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.